In this video, we're going to be exploring activity 1.3.5, documenting a design. And in this particular video, we're going to start off with making sure that we've got a new active project. So right now in my settings, I went ahead and created a new active project and it's routed to a folder in my PLTW IED folder. So again, making sure that that's active, you should have a, green, uh, a check mark there to be able to show that that's the active project. I'm going to go ahead and start off by clicking on the open folder and I'm actually going to navigate so notice that it opened right up to that folder that I had selected I'm actually going to go up to the to the downloads so this VEX 1 point uh, 1 by 10 beam is going to be what we're going to pull in and I'm just going to say open it's going to tell me that's not in the active project go ahead and say yes let's go ahead and put that in the, and we'll have that now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go to file I'm going to go save as and I'm actually going to create another save copy in this folder that I was looking at. So documents, PLTW IED and inside of there I'm going to double click inside activity 135 documenting a design and click save. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to close this file. I'm going to go down here to the tab and close this one and you're going to see that now I've got a a file that's right here inside of the recent within my documenting a design active project so I'm actually going to double click on that to open it up because this is the actual this is the copy that's in the folder so that's the one I want to keep editing not really going to edit a whole lot I'm just going to go ahead and um, go up here to the new button and in this activity they want us to choose a B size title block we're going to use the custom title blocks that was made in a previous video check out my channel to go and look at how to create custom title blocks or follow it and create the one like you see in the curriculum however I'm going to use my custom title block that I used from a previous tutorial and so I'm going to use the B size title block and click create for the name of the drawing I'm going to go ahead and put in crank arm drawing so I get a little prompt that's asking me for what's the drawing name and you'll see that that gets populated down here in my title block I'm going to go ahead and select the base command. We're going to bring in that base command. I'm actually going to go from a scale. Let's try two to one on this scale. We'll put it down here. And while I've got this view open, I'm going to go ahead and right and click over here to place the right side view. Click to place an isometric view. And we can select OK. Now one of the things that I'll probably do is I'll go ahead and double left click on this, on this isometric view. Let's drop this to one to one scale and change it to shaded and we'll place this just up here again I'm going to grab from the fence place it up here into the drawing a few things they want us to do is they want us to create a detail view of this crank arm and add a few dimensions and that's really all that we're looking for so I'm going to go up here to the detail command in the create panel and I'm going to select a view notice that we have that down here in our status bar so I'm going to select my front view and from here I can go ahead and draw a circle so I'm gonna start probably right here toward the toward the center of the second hole and I want to draw a circle out until I get just those kind of three holes in there so I'm gonna click that looks pretty good and I'm gonna place this detail view up here toward the top and that's gonna help kind of set in some of those some of those measurements If we need to make any adjustments you can always click on this detail view you can always size it down a little bit if you need you can also reposition it if you would like then that way you can see some of those those options okay that's how to create a detail view some things we might want to do is on the annotate tab we can go ahead and grab our center mark tool and just on our detail view let's just grab the circles place some center marks there just for detailing and then the last part here would be to click on the dimension tool this is kind of a crazy item to try to pick up so I'm actually going to select kind of the center of this last hole we'll select the center of this hole they have us putting about a four and a half inch measurement there they want us to grab a radius we have a radius on this edge of 0.24 so I'm going to try to place it where we're not kind of running into the into the measurement and then they want us to also put a measurement here of about 0.24 so I'm going to right click and say OK. To get this to show up as 0.243, I'm going to right click on this measurement, go down to precision, and choose three decimal places. 
it's about 0.244. Again, it just depends on what we're kind of working with. If we want to place center, center marks, looks like, on those holes that we dimensioned to, we can always click those, just like how we did up above. And that right there is really kind of what we want to see, is that we want to see some of these measurements than that they kind of have going on. They would like to see on the right side view in figure five, we're gonna add uh, this measurement here, which is kind of hard to see because of the hidden lines, this 0 0.05. And even then we can always right click on this, change the precision to three decimal places, 0 0.051. And I can always reposition this dimension here. I kind of want it to be able to be easily read as well as pull up any dimensions just that way they fit a lot better. But other than that, that is going to be, you know, kind of how to bring in this particular file for, for this. It's just documenting the design and practicing doing dimensioning, kind of like how we've done before. So just wanted to show how to do that. And uh, again, just kind of talking about those custom title blocks and things like that.